Why, oh why, do they keep turning over symbols to their enemies? <laughs> the hand sign, the OK hand sign from Operation OKKK, <laughs> which, which has been used for hundreds of years, has finally been recognized as a, um, as a hate symbol from the Anti-Defamation League. Um, we, we, we all know how uh, sordid they are, considering um, PewDiePie brought them to light again briefly as well, recently. But from the BBC, OK hand sign added to list of hate symbols, uh, according to the ADL. The finger and thumb gesture, which is also a popular emoji, is being used by some as a sincere expression of white supremacy, according to the Anti-Defamation League. No. No, no it isn't. Uh, the white power hand sign uses two hands, and it isn't one hand. So no it isn't. It's used as a meme, it's used as a joke, it's used to poke fun at you, um, who are just hysterics, it's the, it's the, the, the outrage, and thinking, oh no, it's, it's going to be violence in video games, oh no, it's... <laughs> It's all satanic worship because of rock music. Oh no, he heavy metal's going to be the end of civilization. Oh. 666 and Anna 666 does more details into this. You can just check him out. So, but the US anti hate group says the overwhelming usage of the hand gesture today is still to show approval or that something is okay. Yes, it is. Um, or, or, it's, or it's a meme. It's not used uh, <laughs> as sincere white supremacy. It's the same thing as uh, Count Ankula, that he was. Uh, he was fined six hundred pounds, wasn't he? He was taken directly out of his bank account because he was going to refuse to pay it. But the the, the Scottish government just went, "Yeah, yoink, we'll be having that," uh, because he was mocking Nazis. So it's it's the same thing here. That any mockery of Nazism or socialism, uh, national or otherwise, is seen as seen as evil, of course, because socialism is amazing, even if it's national socialism. So obviously, these people like the the BBC supporting um, Nazi policies, uh, including prosecuting people for for mocking them. As, as we can see here, that's no word of a lie. And in case you're wondering, oh, but how, how real is this? <laughs> Where's the fake news in this BBC article? Well, you can spot it right here. Members of the far right group Proud Boys made a hand gesture at a rally in Oregon. It's not a far right group. It's a, it's a splinter cell, essentially. Um, there are a load of different people and it was f founded by the, the founder of Vice and also hipsterdom, Gavin McInnes. Um, but he's been <laughs> smeared recently. I'm never sure why. Um, but the, the Proud Boys, and that's also a, a tongue-in-cheek name because he, he created it as, as a joke all those years ago. So again, not a far right group. Was he the leader? No. Um, and in order to try and show that, he was saying, well, if I was, then I, I am saying that I'm not the leader now because I never was the leader. So what, what are you going to do? And he did that in order to try and lessen the, the sentences of some of the people who subscribe to be members of the Proud Boys. Uh, that, that's why he did it, to try and help out other people. So... Um, they say other symbols added to the list include burning neo-Nazi symbols. Burning neo-Nazi symbols. So it's, that means you support it. So when you burn the American flag, that means you support America. Hang on a minute. Images of the happy merchant, that's the, the Jew, and the slogan, diversity equals white genocide. Yes. Yes, a hate symbol is saying diversity equals white genocide. Let me know who that's supposed to hate. And also why it's not true, because diversity means anti-white. And if you're trying to get rid of an entire ethnic group, even just the intention is the definition of genocide. I'm not joking, you don't actually have to kill anyone, you just have to intend to kill uh, a group of people based on uh, religious grounds or ethnicity, and that is genocide, that is the de definition of genocide. So this fact is now a hate symbol. Yeah, yeah, facts are hate, but <laughs> what else is new? So um, they say it started its hate on display list in 2000 with the aim of helping people recognize signs of extremism. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. You can just ask where they get their funding from. <laughs> and then who else they put on that list. Uh, it now has over 200 entries, including the swastika and Ku Klux Klan's burning cross. So well, what they're trying to say is give it legitimacy by saying the swastika and Ku, Ku Klux Klan. That's, that's clearly bad. But also if you mock so if you support the Nazis, that's bad. But if you mock them, that's bad. So what are you getting at? And when you say the swastika, what about um, Buddhism or Shintoism, considering that symbol has been used for millennia as a symbol of peace? What now? Oh, you don't know. No, of course you fucking don't. But I, I love to... <laughs> I love where this goes, because they, they realise that they, they can't win. But what they're doing will fail. So... Let's see. Uh, the ADL says the OK symbol has become a popular trolling tactic from right-leaning individuals who often post photos to social media with themselves, posing while making the gesture. Or just anybody who likes a joke. 
It started out as an online joke on our 4 chan, yep, operation OKKK, OK, taking an innocent gesture and pretending there was a hidden meaning behind it, hoping to trick the media and let lean people into outrage. <laughs> and what have you just done? <laughs> you're outraged about it, and you've added it to the list of hate symbols. So you're saying, this is what they're trying to do, and then you go along with it. It's the same as the person you're about to mention, Gwendolyn Tarrant. Um, the man accused of killing 51 people in mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, early this year, flashed the OK hand sign when he was in court. Well, he did it upside down, so I, good luck trying to get that to mean white power. And he's pleading not guilty to murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Um, but yes, he, he was trying to do it all as a big joke in order to... He, he wanted to create a, a civil war in America. That's what he did. So, Dr. Paul Stocker, a historian who specialised in far right movements, oh, that's got to be a load of whole scrap, says the, the OK sign is a way of people who are in the far right to communicate to each other. It's a good message to people who are in the know and understand what the far right are doing, the they do when you speak. Who are the far right and what do they actually do other than post memes? Is that the definition of far right now? You like memes? The symbol indicates to call supporters that they are one of them, or just that they're OK, but <laughs> you, uh, you're right. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Flash of the OK hand sign. <gasps> You're not all right, you're alt right. No, no. Oh dear. Um, the writer says it's common for extremist groups to take signs already in the public domain and twist their meaning. Yeah, so if you try and censor things, it'll eventually just, just become <laughs> terms you can't censor are used. And the same is, of course, we know using Google, Yahoo, uh, Twitter, Facebook, I believe. They're all slurs as well if you're, if you're in those circles. Yeah, but you're not going to censor those words, right? Of course not. Um, and then, yeah, they, they say, as a result, someone who uses the symbol cannot be assumed to be using the symbol in either or trolling or white supremacist context. Right. So, <laughs> what you're saying, as the overwhelming usage of the hand gesture today is still its traditional purpose, so most people use it innocuously and innocently and as it was intended, but some people don't. Therefore, because of how these people choose to act, now this symbol, which is used by a lot of people, is now a hate symbol. Right. So you're saying there are a load of people who are surreptitiously <laughs> flashing a, a hate symbol without realizing it. So it actually a hate symbol? No, no it isn't. And if you're saying that it happens in such a minuscule amount of times of people being able to, uh, being able to identify other uh, far right -like people, as you call them, then is it actually a useful tool? Because it sounds like it really isn't. So this defeats your entire article. This is just utter shit. You've, you've explained why what you're doing doesn't make sense in that you can't actually identify the people you're supposed to identify. And you've also said how the, 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 the groups that you're so afraid of are going to continue to find new ways to get their message across in, <laughs> while also, well, so the, the people you're afraid of who you think are using the, the OK hand sign as, as a white power gesture, although you don't say that here, you just say hate symbol, because you know, it's not the white power gesture now, I, I guess. Or are you still trying to push that false narrative? But those people you're afraid of, you're admitting are going to find new ways to say their message anyway. And all you're doing is making it more obscure so that they can't be identified anymore, but they can still um, push their, their messages through. Surely you'd want them exposed to know who they are and therefore you don't associate with them. Would, wouldn't you like that? No? Okay. And then, oh, I've, I've lost my train of thought. But um, you're, you're saying, so it isn't effective. People are always going to find new ways. And also, yes, that you're, you're admitting that this was, this was false. This was made to just make it seem as if it was a real thing when it isn't real. And what you're saying is, oh, yes, but it's actually real. You're saying exactly what they intended to do and then falling for it exactly as they said you would. How are you not seeing this? Do you have no self-awareness? Why do you think you're above everyone else? But I guess that's what, that's where the main has come from. So anyway, that's it for now. Let me know what you think below. And, um, Again, I look forward to seeing those OK hand signs in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.